let us let us not reinvent the wheel. We already have in the Abuja Treaty, which was adopted in the year 2000, uh, ratified, ratified in 2000, we, we set out a, uh, what we refer to as a linear model of Africa's integration. So we, we move from being a free trade area right up until we are a monetary union, whenever that will be. That was a very significant step uh, in 2015 when the heads of states reminded us that there is an agreement that is in existence, let us implement it. So we started negotiating what we called back then the Continental Free Trade Area, a very comprehensive agreement in scope, trade in services, trade in goods, various protocols on investment protection, trade facilitation, digital trade, intellectual property rights, um, and uh, recently we added a protocol on women and youth in trade. So very, very comprehensive agreement and a depth of um, ambition. Very, very ambitious uh, agreement. We now, as we speak, we have 43 countries that, were, that have ratified the AFCFTA. Um, in the last summit of heads of states in Zambia, the president of uh, President Bano, Guinea Bissau, announced that they will ratify before the end of the year. So that will take us to 44. So the political commitment is there. Obviously, the legal commitment is there because they have all um, uh, they have all ratified. Part of the reason why, in in large part, actually, why we've been able to achieve success in the shortest amount of time is because of the engagement of heads of states and the fact that the heads of states are driving this, uh, this themselves because of the importance for Africa's uh, integration. The AFCFTA is a very important first step. So they are driving it uh, themselves and it, it is absolutely the correct thing uh, to do. We've been able to achieve consensus on very, very difficult and complex um, economic policy questions, political questions. We were able to achieve consensus. I often get the question, why is it in the WTO they cannot agree on anything for the last 25 years? And as the AFCFTA, we have been able to agree in less than five years, with, with a much, much bigger ambition, much bigger ambition than in the WTO, and yet we've been able to do it.